Are you ready to unlock the secrets of tax savings? Whether you're running a booming LLC, an S-Corp sensation, or just hustling on the side, this is the info you can't afford to miss. Brace yourselves because we're about to drop some serious cash back into your pockets. Our last video on this topic was a game changer for many people, slashing their tax bills. Today we're doubling down with twice as many write-offs, twice the strategies, and mega value. But that's not all. We've got the latest insider info to make sure you save more money on your taxes. With over 30 million businesses in the US, here's the shocking truth. 90% of them are going to pay more taxes than they should. And why? It's as easy as pie. They'll miss out on the tax-saving gems I'm about to spill. Don't believe it? Well, some folks will pay taxes on 100% of their business income simply because they don't use a dedicated business account or track their expenses properly. But even those who do might be leaving cash on the table. Hidden tax write-offs buried in the 76,000 pages of tax law are ready for you to uncover. No matter where you stand on the tax-savvy spectrum, I guarantee you'll find gold in these write-offs. So, do yourself a massive favor, save this video, treat it like your tax-saving Bible, and share it with your squad. And here's a hot tip, share this gem with your accountant. They might learn a thing or two. Welcome to WealthWise Finance, your passport to financial freedom. I'm here to empower you and business owners like you, giving away my real world knowledge for free right here on YouTube. So what are you waiting for? Let's dive headfirst into this treasure trove of tax write-offs and turbocharge your financial success. Number one, home office. Unleash the power of the home office deduction and keep thousands in your pocket. This deduction is your golden ticket to writing off a chunk of your home expenses under your business, including your rent or mortgage interest, property taxes, home insurance, utilities, even the Wi-Fi bill, repairs, HOA fees, and even depreciation. But here's the magic key. To qualify, you need a space in your home solely dedicated to your business. No Netflix marathons, no personal yoga sessions, strictly business. Picture this, your business essentially rents space in your home. And because you're footing the bill for all those home expenses anyway, the tax law lets you write off the portion attributed to your business. Let's break it down. If you've got $100,000 in home expenses and you use 10% of your home for your business, you can wave goodbye to $10,000 in taxable income, saving you thousands in taxes. Number two, self-employment tax. As a business owner, you're hit with double the employment taxes compared to an employee. You've got to fork over both the employer and employee portions of Social Security and Medicare tax, totaling a whopping 15.3% of your income. But guess what? You're in luck because you're watching this video and we've got two game-changing strategies to slash these taxes into oblivion. Strategy number one, did you know that self-employment tax is deductible? Your accountant should be taking advantage of this reducing your income tax. Strategy number two, you can avoid self-employment tax altogether by switching your business entity to one that's not subject to it, like an S corporation or a C corporation. For example, if you earn $150,000 in business income, you'd typically shell out $23,000 in self-employment tax. But with the smart move to an S corporation, you'd only pay taxes on the wages you take from the business. Say you take a $60,000 W-2, which means you'd owe just $9,000 in employment tax. That's a jaw-dropping $114,000 in tax savings. Number three, depreciation deduction. Here's the secret sauce. Depreciation is hands down one of the best tax write-offs, and it won't cost you a dime out of your pocket. It's like magic. You get to write off the value of assets you already own without spending a penny. So. If you've invested in tangible assets like equipment, machinery, furniture, vehicles, real estate, or any other property, depreciation is your golden ticket to tax savings. The tax code allows you to deduct the cost of these assets over their expected useful life. But here's the kicker. Most business owners miss out on this opportunity and end up paying more in taxes. Don't leave money on the table. There are various depreciation methods to choose from, such as straight line depreciation, double declining depreciation, section 179, bonus depreciation, and more. Your goal is simple. Find the method that saves you the most money in taxes. 
Start by keeping tabs on assets you've purchased in the past and those on your shopping list for the future. Then work with your CPA to determine the best depreciation strategy. Bonus depreciation, for instance, has been a game changer, allowing you to deduct up to 100% of asset costs in the first year. But keep in mind that the rules can change, so stay on top of the game to maximize your tax savings. Remember, depreciation is your ace in the hole to keep more of your hard-earned money. Don't miss out. Harness its power and watch your tax bill shrink. Number four, the qualified business income deduction. Here's a golden nugget of tax wisdom. The QBI deduction is a freebie that can put thousands of dollars back in your pocket. But here's the catch. So many folks overlook it when they file their taxes. Don't be one of them. If your total taxable income is below $180,000 or $360,000 for joint filers, you can claim the QBI deduction and enjoy a sweet 20% deduction on your business income. No questions asked. For instance, if you rake in $100,000 in qualifying income, you can write off a cool $20,000. It's as simple as that. Now, what if you earn above the threshold? Fear not. While the rules get a tad more complex, there are still many exceptions. Certain service businesses like doctors, lawyers, accountants, and skilled professionals are typically excluded, but there are twists and turns that could work in your favor. So, even if you're above the income threshold, don't skip this deduction. Consult your accountant to ensure you're not leaving money on the table. You might just qualify after all. Number five, vehicle tax deduction. Here's the deal. If you use a vehicle for any part of your business, you're in for some sweet tax benefits. You can write off your vehicle expenses and because vehicles are tangible assets, you can also deduct depreciation. But wait, there's more. The IRS lets you go bigger. You can write off a portion of all your actual vehicle expenses including gas, repairs, insurance, lease payments, maintenance, registration fees, and more. Or, you can keep it simple by deducting business miles driven, and the IRS lets you claim around 65 cents per mile under the standard mileage method. The key to maximizing your tax savings is to choose the method that puts the most money back in your pocket. Don't miss out. Make those vehicle expenses work for you. Number six, business travel deduction. Get ready to slash your tax bill when you hit the road for business. You can deduct a plethora of expenses, including flights, hotels, meals, and transportation directly tied to your business travels. Common scenarios for business travel include trips to board meetings, conferences, seminars, or any meeting with a business purpose. And guess what? Your family can get in on the action too. If they're involved in the business as partners, employees, board members, or contractors, their expenses can be deducted as well. Here's a pro tip. To maximize your deductions, incorporate some business activities during your travel. The more business you mix in, the more expenses you can write off, ultimately lowering your tax burden. If the trip is 100% business related, you can deduct 100% of these expenses. It's that simple. Number seven, business meals. Calling all foodies. If you're a restaurant enthusiast, you've got a chance to feast and score some hefty tax deductions. Here's the lowdown. You can deduct a ton of your restaurant expenses under the business meals deduction. All it takes is meeting a few criteria, which basically involves discussing business matters with a fellow business contact. And get this, those contacts can even be family members if they're part of your business world. Now to make the most of this deduction, you'll want to involve people you know in your business. Remember, the key is that these meals should be in pursuit of income. You should be talking about things that help your business make more money. Don't forget the essentials. Keep those receipts, meeting notes, and any other documentation as backup for this deduction. It's your golden ticket to save big on taxes, and you'll want to have your ducks in a row if the IRS comes knocking. So savor those business meals and turn them into tax savings. It's a win-win for your taste buds and your wallet. Number eight, hiring your children. When you bring your kids on board in your business, you're in for a double win. Here's the scoop. First, you can write off the payments you make to your children, which works wonders in reducing your own taxes. Second, their income can be tax-free if you pay them less than the standard deduction. Currently, that stands at around $12,000.
So if you keep their earnings under this threshold, they won't owe a dime in income tax when they file their own tax return. And here's the kicker. In some cases, you might even pay them more than the standard deduction to take advantage of their lower tax bracket, especially if you find yourself in a higher one. It's a smart move that benefits everyone in the family. So hiring your kids isn't just about family bonding. It's about smart tax planning. Number nine, employee salary and benefits. When it comes to your business dream team, here's the golden rule. Every penny you pay to anyone working for your business as an employee can be written off. And guess what? It's not just about their wages. You can go bigger. Think about all the benefits you provide. Health insurance, 401k, uniforms, supplies, and the list goes on. These too can be written off, making your tax savings even sweeter. Some savvy business owners even design benefit plans that benefit them as the owner, while still taking full advantage of these tax write-offs. Remember, as a business owner, you're essentially self-employed and you're entitled to these benefits. Now let's dive into some examples of how this works. Number 10, 401k contributions. Here's a powerful tax tip. For every dollar you contribute to a traditional retirement account, you get a dollar for dollar tax write-off. And as a business owner, you've got the potential to make huge contributions because you can play both roles, employer and employee, in your business retirement plans. Starting in 2024, get ready to deduct up to $669,000 in contributions made to a traditional SEP IRA or a solo 401k. Plus, you can write off up to $7,000 for contributions made to a traditional IRA. Just with these contributions alone, you're looking at over $76,000 in additional tax write-offs, translating into tens of thousands of dollars in tax savings. But hold on to your hats, because some business owners take it to the next level by incorporating their spouse, potentially doubling this amount. It's time to supercharge your retirement contributions and watch your tax bill shrink. Number 11, Retirement Pension Contributions. If you're a business owner with a passion for supercharging your retirement savings beyond the limits of a 401k, it's time to set your sights on a pension plan. Pension plans open the door for business owners to contribute anywhere from $100,000 to a whopping $300,000 to their retirement account in a single tax year. And here's the kicker. You can write off the entire contribution. Imagine saving over $100,000 in taxes through these plans. It's a game changer. In a nutshell, you should explore defined benefit plans or cash balance plans. These gems not only help you write off more of your income, but also set you up for a comfy retirement nest egg. It's time to take control of your retirement and maximize your tax savings. Pension plans are the way to go. Number 12, health savings accounts. Introducing the HSA, a tax deferred account that lets you contribute money and get a tax write off in return. You can set up an HSA as an individual or through your business. And the best part is that the contributions are tax deductible. Here's the beauty of it. Unlike retirement accounts, you can use your HSA to cover a wide range of health expenses. Think doctor visits, dentist appointments, gym memberships, massages, chiropractic care, and more. And when you dip into your HSA to pay for these health-related expenses, the funds you use are not taxed. It's like writing off these health costs and never paying tax on your contributions. Talk about a win-win. So use your HSA wisely and you'll not only enjoy tax savings, but also invest in your health and well-being. Number 13, health insurance premiums. Here's a big one that too many business owners overlook, especially if they don't officially offer health benefits to their employees. Enter section 162 of the tax law. It's your ticket to deducting health insurance premiums as a self-employed individual. Here's the kicker. It doesn't matter if the policy is in your business name, your name, or your spouse's name. Even if your spouse's employer chips in for your health insurance, the portion you pay can be written off as a business expense. If you and your household are on the policy and you're footing any part of the bill, your business can either pay for it directly and write it off or reimburse you so you can deduct it. It's a straightforward deduction that you're already paying for. Don't leave money on the table. So 
Take advantage of this simple yet powerful deduction. Your wallet will thank you. Number 14, Business Insurance Deduction. Let's make this crystal clear. Almost any business insurance you purchase can and should be written off if you want to minimize your tax bill. Whether it's general liability insurance, property insurance, errors and emissions insurance, or any other type of business coverage, it's highly likely to be deductible. Here's the rule of thumb. If you need the insurance to run your business, you should absolutely be able to write off the expense. So protect your business and your wallet. Make sure you're taking full advantage of these deductions and pay less in taxes. Number 15, advertising expense. The IRS is all in favor of helping your business grow and thrive, creating jobs and bolstering the economy. And guess what? Advertising is the lifeblood of business growth. So any money you spend to promote your business is not just deductible, it's fully deductible. In fact, it's a savvy move for many businesses to ramp up their advertising spend to offset their income and slash their taxes. This strategy allows them to quickly expand in terms of sales, customers and employees while using advertising expenses to offset the income, essentially wiping out most of their taxable income. Then, once they've hit their stride with a flourishing business, they can scale back on advertising expenses and enjoy the rewards of a highly successful and profitable venture. So, if you're on a mission to grow your business, the government has your back by letting you write off all your advertising expenses along the way. Number 16, education expenses. Let's face it, success in business doesn't happen overnight. It requires skills, training, and education, and the IRS gets that. That's why they let you write off your education expenses as a way to reduce your taxes. Here's the breakdown. You can deduct the cost of courses, seminars, conferences, trade publications, books, and more. But that's not all. You can also write off expenses related to certifications, diplomas, degrees, licenses, or any other professional requirements necessary for your trade or business. If having a specific designation is a must for your business operations, go ahead and deduct those expenses too. This includes everything from annual registration fees to continuing education and beyond. The trick is to pay for these educational expenses from your business and write them off as legitimate education expenses. It's a smart investment in your success and a way to pay less in taxes. Number 17, cell phone deduction. Here's the simple answer to a frequently asked question. Yes, you can write off your cell phone expenses under your business. If you use your cell phone for any business related activities, whether it's communicating with business contacts, filming content, or any other business purpose, you've got a green light to write it off. That means you can deduct not just the device itself, but also your service plan costs, any storage fees, and even the cost of business-related apps. So stay connected and make your cell phone work for your business while saving on taxes. It's a win-win. Number 18, rent expense. If you're renting any space for your business, whether it's an office, warehouse, storage facility, or any other type of space, guess what? It's tax deductible. The key is that the expense must be necessary to run your business. So, if you're paying rent to keep your business operations humming, you've got yourself a legitimate tax deduction. And guess what? We're just getting started. There are plenty more tax deductions waiting for you to uncover. Stay tuned for the next one. Number 19, renting your personal residence. Get ready for a tax saving strategy known as the Augusta strategy. As a business owner, here's how it works. You can rent your personal residence to your business. And when you do this, two fantastic things happen. One, the money your business pays you for the rent becomes a tax write-off, reducing your tax bill. Two. The money you receive from the business is tax-free to you, as long as you don't do this for more than 14 days in any tax year. Now, there has to be a legitimate business purpose for this expense. I've seen everything from board meetings, photo shoots, and employee training used as a business purpose, 
To execute this strategy correctly, careful planning is essential. So consider the Augusta strategy and watch your tax savings soar. It's a win-win for your business and your wallet. Number 20, utilities expense. Here's a bright idea for your business expenses. Any utilities you pay for your business office can be written off. This includes expenses like Wi-Fi, electricity, gas, water, trash, and any other utility costs you fork out for your business space. So keep the lights on, stay connected, and make your workspace thrive while saving on taxes. It's a simple and effective way to keep more money in your pocket. Number 21, office technology expense. Here's the deal. You can write off 100% of direct office, administrative, and technology expenses that are essential to operate your business. This includes office supplies like computers, printers, pens, and notebooks. It also covers software and tools for accounting, website hosting, and other crucial applications. In simple terms, if you need it to run your business, it's deductible, and you should absolutely write it off to slash your taxes. Just remember, always pay for these business essentials with your business account to make it a breeze to track and account for these write-offs at the end of the year. Number 22, repairs and maintenance. Let's clarify a common point of confusion. When you spend money on repairing or maintaining business property, the cost can be written off, provided that the IRS sees it as a repair and not a renovation. Here's the distinction. A repair is an expense to keep the property in normal operating condition. If it's a repair, the expense is fully deductible. A renovation, on the other hand, is a cost that improves the value of the property. Renovations are not fully deductible. So, while you may not be able to write off renovations, you should absolutely aim to write off all your repair and maintenance fees for any business property you own. It's a smart way to keep your expenses in check and pay less in taxes. Number 23, legal and professional fees. Here's some fantastic news. Almost any legal or professional fee can be written off under your business. This includes the fees you pay to the person who files your tax return. Talk about a win-win. Examples of professional fees you can write off encompass a wide range, from advertising agencies and insurance brokers to call centers, accountants, lawyers, and other professionals that your business needs in your industry. To successfully write off these expenses, you'll need to issue a 1099 tax form to any professional you pay over $600 in any given year. This form ensures that the person receiving the money reports it as income. The good news is that this process can be easily managed through an accounting system like QuickBooks. Just be sure to follow these steps to enjoy the deduction without any additional headaches or penalties from the IRS. Number 24, contract labor. Here's another fantastic opportunity for deductions. You can also write off any contract labor expenses you incur to run your business. For instance, if your business hires virtual assistants, graphic designers, or other contractors to assist in delivering goods and services to your customers, you can deduct these expenses. The process to write off these expenses is similar to the previous point. Make sure to get W-9 forms from any contractor you hire and issue a 1099 tax form to them at the end of the year. This ensures that you can successfully write off these expenses from your taxes. So, don't miss out on this deduction opportunity. It's another way to keep more money in your business's pocket. Number 25, bank fees. Here's a crucial tip that many business owners overlook. While you should absolutely have a dedicated business bank account to operate your business, you should also remember to write off the bank fees associated with it. It's easy to forget, but you definitely don't want to make this mistake. Here's the lowdown. You can deduct your monthly maintenance fees. You can also write off any fees you incur for wire transfers, overdrafts, late fees, and more. That's right. Virtually any fee your bank charges you to operate your business bank account can be written off on your tax return. So make sure you're taking advantage of this deduction opportunity and keep more of your hard-earned money in your business's pocket. Number 26, merchant processing fees. Here's a commonly overlooked deduction, merchant fees. Many business owners have no idea how much they're paying to their merchant, and as a result, they're not writing off these expenses. 
Merchant fees are typically deducted before deposits even hit your bank account, making them easy to miss. But here's the deal. These fees are tax deductible. So whether you're using platforms like Stripe, Square, PayPal, or any other payment processor, make sure to tally up the fees you pay them. You should be able to request an annual statement of their fees, ensuring that you include this expense as a tax write-off on your return. Don't leave money on the table. Make sure you're taking advantage of this easy and valuable deduction. Number 27, business loan interest. If you have a business loan or you're considering one in the future, here's a vital deduction you shouldn't overlook. Interest expense. Many people miss this deduction because while the principal you pay on business loans is not tax deductible, the interest expense you pay on them is deductible. Typically, loan payments include both interest and principal, which can make it easy to miss out on this write-off. But you can easily avoid that by obtaining an interest statement from your lender at the end of each year. This ensures you can write off 100% of the interest expense you incur. So if you have or plan to get a business loan, make sure to take full advantage of this deduction opportunity. It's money back in your pocket. Number 28, business taxes. Guess what? You've got not one, but two tax saving opportunities here. First, you can write off the fee you pay someone to prepare your tax return. That's right, the cost of tax preparation is deductible. Second, you can also write off certain taxes that you pay. Earlier, we mentioned the ability to write off self-employment tax, but you can also deduct certain real estate taxes, payroll taxes, and other taxes directly attributable to your business. Now, it's important to note that this does not include your individual federal and state taxes. However, if it's a tax that your business is directly liable for and pays, you can likely write it off on your tax return. So, don't miss these double deduction opportunities. They put more money back in your business's pocket. Number 29, the tax write-off that you are not creating. Here's a pro tip. Savvy business owners don't just settle for capturing the expenses they already pay for. They go the extra mile to create tax write-offs that can help reduce their tax liability as much as possible. This might involve reinvesting in your business or restructuring it to take full advantage of various tax write-offs and strategies. For example, one, incorporating family members into your business can allow you to write off more meals, more travel, or even shift income to family members in lower tax brackets. Two, spending more money in your business through initiatives like advertising or research and development can make your business more valuable while significantly reducing your tax liability. The key takeaway here is that with careful planning and strategic thinking, you can create tax deductions seemingly out of thin air and ultimately pay less taxes as a result. Number 30, Section 162, Expenses. Here's your ultimate reference for tax write-offs, Section 162 of the Tax Code. It provides the guidance you need for your deductions. In a nutshell, Section 162 states that you can deduct all ordinary and necessary expenses paid or incurred during the taxable year to carry on any trade or business. So, if you're ever unsure about what you can write off and it wasn't covered here, remember this definition. Ordinary means that the expense is common for other businesses in your field of work. Necessary means that the expense is necessary for your business to earn income. Many expenses can meet this simple definition, but as always, it's a good idea to follow up with your CPA for more detailed guidance. And if you have more video ideas you'd like us to cover, let us know in the comments below.